Hello, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, today's still water pattern. I'm going to have a little play with a variation on the humongous pattern. Uh, in the vise, we have the Hanak H260 barbless hook in size 8. And the thread I'm going to be using today is the Vivas. It's E15 and it's a bright green thread. First thing to do then is get some wax on the thread. And let's get a few wraps on. I'm starting just a millimetre or so back from the eye of the hook. And I'm going to come in line to where the barb would have been. Just get my scissors, take away the rat's tail, and as always, with a long marabou fly, uh, sorry, a long marabou tail, I'm going to just build a little rugby ball shaped lump at the back of the hook here. And as I've said many times now, this just helps with the tail being wrapped around the bend of the hook while you're fishing. Uh, the marabou I'm going to use for the tail is the uh, Nature Spirits Fish Hunter Marabou. It's a strung marabou and I've already taken a feather out of the bag that I've been working with and I'm going to take two generous pinches off of this. I want quite a thick, thick tail, lots of movement in this fly. So with the two pinches I've taken, I'll just string it out a bit. I'm just going to trim away some of my waste here. Now, I don't want to trim the good end because I want these swords to be this sort of shape. And you can, you can imagine the movement in the water when you've got nice thin ends. So I'll take away my waste off camera. Then bring my marabou up to where my thread is and just, I can lash that on. I'm not particularly worried about how tidy it is. And there I've got my, my tail going back. Now I want to, I'm going to do a lot more work with the fly obviously and I want to keep this out of the way. You can do that by licking your thumb and forefinger and just adding a bit of moisture to the tail. Now, I'm going to put a bit of flash in the tail and I'm going to be using a strand of this. It's crystal flash and this is colour number 20. I think I got this from the Fly Tying Boutique. So I've taken a strand of that out and I'm going to tie, just bring my thread halfway back and I'm going to tie one, one bit in on my side which you can't see at the minute. I'm making a bit of a pig's ear of this, but here we go. And I'm going to come all the way back to there. Then the other side, hopefully, he says, I'm going to catch in on your side that you can see. Now usually I would just turn my vice round but you won't be able to see then. Catch that in there and then bring it back up. Once I've got that in place I can come in with my snips. It doesn't have to be even, I'm not worried about it being even but I don't want it coming past the marabou. So again I lick my thumb and forefinger, bring all that back and it just keeps everything out of the way. Next, I'm going to add a wire rib. This is the UTC copper. And I did take a bit off, but I seem to have misplaced it. So I'll just take another piece off the reel. And I'm going to catch that in next. All the way back up to where the marabou starts. Okay, next thing then, I'm going to add the body material. 
which is uh, this, it's like a silver mic micro fritz. And this, this came from Dave Downey. Uh, he does it in gold as well, I believe. If you're after making a humongous, and it's, it's tied very similar to this. So catch that in. And come to the end. Then nice tight tight turn, so it's it's quite close together. Up to the end. Now I'm I'm finishing quite shy here because I'm going to add some eyes to this fly. So I've left myself roughly an eighth of an inch, uh, two and a half millimetres, from the eye of the hook. And I'm just going to tidy that all up now. Like so. Now, before I... I... Um, add my eyes, I'm going to put a, a hackle through through the body material. I'm using this cape, nice bright red, red colour. It's been dyed lovely. I'm sorry I can't remember who uh, I got that from, but it's, uh, it's a really nice job he's done. The, the dyeing is really vibrant. So I've already selected a feather and I've stripped off a little bit to the stem. I'm just going to trim that away off camera and I'm going to wax my thread because I want to have plenty of grip here and then I'm going to catch that stem he says in at the front of the fly. Now just for safety's sake I'm going to stick a little half hitch in now and I can discard my thread now and concentrate on the feather I'm going to use for hackling. I'm going to take my hackle pliers and just catch the end of the feather and first thing I'm going to do is take two or three maybe even turns right at the head of the fly. Once I've got that in place, I'm going to come back, open turns through the body, to the tail of the fly. I can let that go. The weight of the hackle plier will just hold the feather in place while I take out my copper rib here and I'm going to catch that in, making sure I really get the end of that feather. I don't want this coming off at a later time. I'm just going to wing my bobbin up a bit. It's misbehaving here at the background. And I'm just weaving this in between. Now I'm not so worried about my hackle pliers now if it breaks. Uh, I've got the, the hackling secured so it's not a big deal. But I do like to get to the end before I uh, snap away my waist. Just that last bit, I'm just weaving it through as I go through the hackling. I'm going to bring everything back and I brought it up to my thread now. Just move that out of the way. Then I'm going to lock that in. Just two or three turns of thread. Now, while keeping tension on the thread, twist your wire away and that'll come off. Next, I can address my hackle plier. I'm just going to come in quite close and snip that away. Okie dokie. 
I'm licking my thumb and forefinger just off camera and I'm just sweeping everything back and I'm going to have there isn't much to tidy up but what there is I'm doing it like so okay next I'm going to put some bead eyes on this uh, these are little chain eyes you get from you can get them from B&Q I think some of the fly time um, stores sell them various sizes these are quite large and first thing I'm going to do is lay them on side on so I can get a couple of wraps through the eye and then once I've done that I can get them into place where I want them and I'm just doing a figure of eight motion now over the eyes to build the head trying not to catch in fibers from my hackle but it does seem to want to join in the fun so just try and hold everything back with your thumb and forefinger and then once you're done again you can figure of eight or sorry half hitch like I've done or you can whip finish like so come on with my scissors snip away that now you can use this um, fly time varnish super glue uh, I'm going to use some Solaris UV resin to finish this off I'm just going to untighten my vise put a spot in between the eyes turn the fly upside down whoops got a wee bit too much on there and I've got a big massive clump on there now you might not be able to see but I made a right mess of this but it can be rescued so I'm not going to lose too much sleep I'll come back to my my cape here and strip away some feathers just get a nice bit of stem just so I've got a clear eye. So I'm going to clear that out before I cure the resin. Just a wee bit overzealous with my brush. And before I take the feather away, I'm ready with my torch. And then I can come in and cure it. So, not a showstopper. Uh, I have been tempted in the past just to throw flies like this away. But, you know, hooks cost money, materials cost money. If you can save it, you're best to have a go. Okay, once it's cured, you're there. Now, the, the idea of this fly is, is the movement it produces. So, what I'm getting... Is, is a huge amount of movement from the marabou tail here and I've added just a little bit of the crystal flash that can often get uh, fish's attention again to do a movement I've got the hackling in at the side which when pulled through the water at speed it'll, it'll flow backwards and then when you stop it all fluffs out and of course the bead eyes um, they help a little bit with weight and the way this fly will swim is in this kind of motion depending on what kind of retrieve you're doing but um, can be very effective great for still water fishing hope you enjoyed that uh, thanks very much for watching